Hi, welcome to our campaign. Tak kenal maka tak sayang. That's an Indonesian expression there. It means you cannot love what you don't know. So, allow us to introduce ourselves. Jadi, perkenalkan, nama saya Michelle, saya dari Indonesia. In this opportunity, I am running for TTR's 82nd generation president. I'm a first year student majoring in interaction design. And as you can see, these are a few skills that I possess. Although, I would say that my most significant strength is that I'm a hard worker and I will always go the extra mile in everything that I do. Next is my experience. I was the artistic and design member of the first generation TTSA and then got promoted to the secretary position later on. This position helped me to get to know TTSA deeper. At the same time, because of the experiences I got here, I have an insight into how this organization could grow and how I can help in the role of president. Along with this, I'm an active member of the NTUT Piano Club. And through this club, I gain experience in the event planning and team management. And enough about me, let's meet my partner in this journey, Fania. Nama saya Fania, saya dari Indonesia juga. And I am running for the second generation vice president. I am open to new ideas and I am willing to hear your opinions. I value time and effort highly and I will make sure that everyone has a part in the team in order to reach our full potential as well as gain positive results. I was a first generation member of TTISA's artistic and design department. My time at TTISA led me to discover the unlocked potential this organization holds and I believe that with more effort we can reach our goals. Before I arrived in Taiwan, I was a member of my school's Young Indonesia Red Cross Society, an organization that carries out humanitarian activities in the aspect of health and disaster preparations. I gained a lot of experience and discipline from the activities I went through, such as management skills, the importance of communication, and teamwork with one another. Let's move on to the next part. So, as mentioned on the OIA website, there are three goals for the next executive board. One is to revise the DTSA statute, the second is to extend DTSA, and the last is to hold events related to international students. But of course, we have a goal and vision of our own. We aim to facilitate international students and support them in their studies, be it in the form of emotional support or informative resources. Now, we would like to explain our plans in detail. There are three main parts of our plan in order to achieve our vision. The first one is to plan gathering events. This includes a cultural but exchange bazaar, which could be in the form of selling food and introducing different cultures for fundraising purposes. Apart from that, we plan to host organization outings to Taipei scenic spots. From my own experience with the last board, this kind of event is the one that has brought our members closer and made us know each other better. Our second plan is to serve as international student representatives and correspondents with the goal of guiding international students. Hey, it's OIA is a long-term program that aims to inform important information about OIA's website to international students. From this program, we can help international students on navigating general information from the OIA's website and find useful resources for them. We also plan to promote school events, such as CLTC's cultural events, school exhibitions, an introduction to the library system, and other academic resources. Another plan is to connect with each country's student association to inform school events and information to reach a larger audience which will be more effective. And the third plan is to improve organizational rules and cultural direction. Something that I noticed as a former executive board member is that the communication between members is still lacking and our internal organization, frankly speaking, requires improvement. For example, sharing of information towards one another is slow, which causes postponed updates, and it's all a communication problem. So, in order to prevent this ineffectiveness, we plan to implement a disciplinary action in order to take responsibility for their commitment and behavior. The details could be further discussed, but that's one of our plans in the meantime. On behalf of our team, I would like to say that your vote is not only for us, but also for yourself and those who are in need of assistance as well. Vote for those who will help you with your needs, and vote for those who shall represent the voices of international students. Thank you!